Welcome to The One Reviewer, my name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, tech tutorials, and today's episode is a part two follow-up to my original video of the Gyrocopters Sunic e-scooter, uh, which we have right here. So today's video, we're gonna talk about my overall impressions of actually using it as my made mode of transportation for going to work for a couple of days. Also my experience of on the sidewalk, on the gravel road, as well on grass, and see how well it performs. I've invited two of my friends to review this scooter as well. It's their first time using an e-scooter, and I was curious to see what their impression was of using it for the very first time and provide their overall impressions. As you're watching the video, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like the video and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. So without further ado, let's get to the review. Just an overview of this Sunic e-scooter. The max load is 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. Max range on the charge is 20 kilometers and the max speed is 28 kilometers per hour. Riding the scooter on the rotor sidewalk is a very smooth ride. The scooter picks up speed once it gets going and it's very easy to handle. The drone footage makes it seem slow, but here I was in normal mode, which I was able to hit the max speed of 20 kilometers per hour. The variable speed and being able to control it from uh, economy mode to normal to sport mode allows me to transition to different speed depending on where I am. Especially when I'm on the sidewalk, when there's people, I put it down to the lowest setting, which is economy mode, which is at 15 kilometers per hour. And it gives me a chance to kind of avoid people if I have to. Riding the scooter on the packed gravel road, I wanted to see how it did. It does take a bit more time to pick up speed and reach the max speed. The tires did a good job to reduce some of the bumps and I didn't feel the scooter bouncing too much. Here, uh, Braden topped out just around 25 kilometers an hour and he couldn't quite max out at the 20 kilometers per hour in sport mode. And I'm guessing that's just because of the way the tires and, and the friction with the gravel. So just one thing to note, um, you do get some reduced speed while traveling on gravel. I wanted to see how the scooter handled riding on the grass. Obviously, it slows down considerably while riding on grass and it maxed at around 10 kilometers per hour. Your ability to go fast on grass really depends on your weight. My son, who's 70 pounds, has a much easier time riding on the grass than a grown adult, I say around 160 pounds. I suggest if there's short sections of grass you have to ride on while you're on the pavement, throw out at high speed so you can keep the momentum going as you transition to the grassy areas. I want to see how the scooter handled inclines. The spec sheet says it can handle inclines up to 20 degrees. The footage here that you see is it has a gradual incline around 15 degrees. There were no issues going up and the scooter didn't slow down or hesitate at all. Here, Terry wanted to see if you can ride up a 40 degree incline on grass. He tried to max out on the scooter right before hitting the grass. As you can see, he didn't make it quite all the way up and proves why you need to wear a helmet while riding a scooter. The scooter has headlight and tail lights that allow you to ride at night. The light not only shows you the road, but it makes it visible to people and cars around you. The headlight is pretty bright and does a great job flooding the area in front of you to see where you're going. and I wouldn't hesitate riding this at night at all. And as you brake and come to a complete stop, the rear tail light pulses. Here's some overall impressions of the Sunic e-scooter. Um, it takes a while for me to balance myself to when I first started, and once I got the hang of it, it was pretty easy to get started. Now we get Terry and Brayden to talk about their experience. So Terry, this is your first time riding your scooter. What are your thoughts and overall impressions of the scooter? Uh, I think it goes pretty good. I think it uh, you get some pretty good speed out of it. Uh, it's very sturdy, easy to balance, brakes really well, uh, really easy to control. Uh, yeah, I could see how this could be uh, easily used for uh, close and close range in the city for sure. If you lived in the city, would you consider using an e-scooter to get around? Yeah, 
yeah, this is great. You can, it's easy to pick up and, and store inside. It's, uh, it, it goes pretty quick, so you get places a lot faster than, than any other sort of method. It's uh, yeah, easy to store security-wise. So you don't have to worry about anyone stealing it. Take it to work, you can take it to your desk. Um, yeah, I would for sure use this. So Brian, this is your first time riding an e-scooter. What is your first overall impressions of it? It was great, it's super quick. Uh, it's lightweight, easy to move around. It's got good brakes. Uh, I could 100% see somebody uh, that lives close to work or just uh, needs to boot around a little bit, for sure using this instead of a car. I could use this going back and forth to work, saves a lot of money on gas, and it has a sweet bell. So I know this is the first time riding your e-scooter. Was it hard to balance? Was it hard to maneuver? What are your thoughts on your first time? It was really good. You just do a couple quick pushes with your foot, hit, engage the throttle, and away you go. It's really easy to battle, uh, balance on. It takes bumps really well. It works good on pavement and on gravel, and even a little bit on the grass. It's really versatile. I wanted to give my final opinion. I've been using the Sunix scooter for a couple of days a week to get to work as my main mode of transportation. I haven't had any issues with it. The speed at 20 km, 8 km per hour is fine for me. The total distance to work is 7 km for a total round trip of 14 km. And the battery is about half when I get home. I'm not sponsored by Gyrocopters. It's currently on sale for $500 and I believe it's well worth it. I plan to do a part 3 on battery usage and distance, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time.